wrong notebook. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I'll have you know, today was a good day. I actually wrote it down. <laughs> I wrote, today was a good day. Yes, it was a good day. Today when I was watching videos and doing my comments, I, um, I was watching Mark from the Arkansas Woodcutter, and I heard him name my name, and it was like, what? Wait a minute. I backed that up and a little bit because I want to make sure I really heard what I heard because, you know, when you hear your name, you wonder, did I really hear it or did I hear something else? No, I actually heard my name, and he was talking about how he thought I was a Spitfire. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Well, you know, my, I wrote in a comment to him. And it was about when I was saying about how the girl was tearing my bed apart and I stopped her. I was like loud in the hall, which really shocked everybody because I'm typically very quiet around these people. They didn't, I didn't know them very well. I had only been there maybe four months, five months at the most. So I was still pretty new. But um, it made me think of a saying and I wrote it in Mark's comment. Hi, Mark. <laughs> You're driving and you're listening at the time that you drive. You don't have to watch me. And not yet anyways. Maybe a little later in the video you might want to stop and watch. But um, it reminded me of the saying my mother would say. And she used to say, be careful because still waters run deep. And then she used to say dirty. In other words, they may be quiet, but you better watch out because they could be a firecracker. And like... He thought I was a spitfire. <laughs> I could be a spitfire. I don't know. Am I a spitfire mm. sometimes? Yes, sometimes. <laughs> Just sometimes. Then I started watching um, Kimber Keto Life. <laughs> this is this must have been my day to be mentioned. I was watching her, and then she started talking about me too. And what she was talking about is how she never had an interest really in chickens. But since I've been talking about my chickens, she's been finding it interesting and she actually said something about that she sort of wanted chickens and her husband says, they could have chickens. Where you live, apparently, you can have chickens. But it's, it is, it's a fun thing, but you know, the hard part is they keep multiplying. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. the hard part. If you have a rooster. If you have a rooster, yeah. Even if you don't have a rooster, I used to go get eggs from Jessica just so that they'd have something at the end of their 28 day of sitting, or 21 day, sorry. 21. They didn't do 28. People are 28 <laughs> on a 28 day cycle. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I batty today? Uh, okay, <laughs> enough of that. Then I went to <laughs> my comments again. And I was into Grey Wolf's comments. Okay, Grey Wolf, he was saying that good thing he wasn't eating when I mentioned I had to clean the poopy butt. I hope nobody's eating right now. <laughs> <laughs> I had to clean off the chicken's poopy bottom. Well, it really, it was, it was kind of fun. And back to Kimber's, I forgot to mention this. Her husband said that he likes foxes. And when he mentioned fox... A song came to my head about a fox and a, and a goose and a quack, quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll give you a little a singing of it. I don't know it real well, but I will. It, it's the words that I know. You know, like how you, you think you know a song and you really don't know a song, so you make up your own words to go with it. Well, I'm sure the words are all wrong on this, but the, but the gist of it is there. And it was about a fox. A fox went out to the chase one night and bade to the moon to give him light. Many miles to go that night before he'd reach the town o, town o, town o. And then it goes many miles to go that night before he reached the town o. Then the fox he grabbed the gray goose by the neck, flung the goose across his back. He didn't mind the quack 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 and the legs all dangling down o, down o, down o. And then mind the quack 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 and the legs all dangling down oh then he took the goose gray goose to his den there were the little ones eight nine ten said dad dad you gotta go back again because this is a mighty fine town oh <laughs> and that repeats it again and there's more to it but i don't remember it that's the only part that i really liked apparently that's like the laurel and hardy songs where they would um 
they were working with a pneumatic drill and the guy tells them to hop to it and he goes like a bunny <laughs> so you know different parts that you you remember all right i hope nobody was eating with the button cleaning <laughs> that was sad and let's see and i was worried about the i wrote i wrote down stuff i brought the notebook and actually i grabbed the wrong notebook first it was my crocheting notebook but then i went back and got it and i was um worried about the chicken the bearded lady because i wasn't sure if she was drinking i thought i saw her eating some but you know they need to drink they can eat all they like but if unless you have liquid you're not going to live so i went and got a syringe that we used to use for medicines to to um give to the kids which I don't have kids in the house anymore, so the syringe. But I still have the syringes. So I went and got the syringe, and then I opened her beak. And when I'm opening her, and her beak opens eh, sort of easy, sort of hard. And then she got the idea that I was giving her water, and she started opening her beak. And then I gave her a different water thing, and she was drinking the water, so she she drank. And then I, I've been giving her the baby high-protein food because I want her to get as much protein as possible. Her food has, actually cat food has more protein than chicken food does. So if you want have any cats and you want to give your chickens a little more protein, you can give them cat food for a while. That's how I used up my cat food when Roscoe disappeared and, and never came back. I had this male cat that roamed and he never came back. So my cat food went to the chickens. Then we were talking about compassion. Jim and I were talking about compassion. Because um, when little kids, they don't really, they're, they're really not. <laughs> You're looking at me like, what is she going to say now? <laughs> He's listening today. <laughs> I'm always listening. Oh, gosh. But anyways, little kids are not as happy and kind as they should be. They laugh when you get hurt. And I was thinking about those video games that kids play. They think that, you, you know, you shoot them dead, they're going to wake up and just reset and you're back alive again. So they don't realize that pain and, and death are forever. You don't have nine lives like a cat. It's like they say the cat. The cat doesn't have nine lives either. It just seems like they, they get away with a lot. And then also the cat, they say you can skin a cat or something or skin the cat. I don't know what that was for. What was that There's for? lots of ways to skin, skin a, cat. a cat. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was something. Um, today I got some mail. I got friend mail. I got mail. And it was from Pamela. I did open it up be, uh, and look because I wanted to be prepared for what I might see. You never know. To but make it, sure it, it was it, it, something that, was that I could share. Yeah. And it says... When you open it up, it says, you rock. I do. That's nice. I like that. Mm -hmm. You rock. And then when you opened it up all the way. Oh, this is adorable. This really is. This is adorable. She's got a sticker with her Pamela's Creations. Adoring cre uh, Crochet. Uh, uh, Pamela Adoring crochet, crochet. Crochet. And she's got a bicycle. This. Oh, she's got to see the right side. Yeah. <laughs> We want to see the bicycle. You want to the see back. the bicycle? Oh, you know what, Jim? You want to get the... I I like bicycles, too. In fact, i This one? You. Yeah. i got to show you. I like bicycles, too, Pamela. Look at this. I have a bicycle, but mine's not pink. Mine's... Oh, I think yours is pink. Yeah. yeah, yours is pink. Mine's black. And it, the wheels do go, but it hasn't been worked in a long time. <laughs> But the pedals go around, and the steering wheel moves. It's, it's, the wheels it's, all move. They all move, yeah. It's pretty nifty, huh? I, who knew that I liked bicycles, too? Here you go. You can put it back on the shelf. But this is adorable. Thank you, Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Let me show you close. Let me see if the camera is looking at it. Let's, I think so. I think it's looking at me too. <laughs> okay, there's that. And then there's the keychain. This is a really cute keychain. Look at this. 
I think it's doing okay. I hope so, because I never know. You know, I see all of you do everything so nice and close. <sighs> that's all right. I think I got it. Yeah, I, I was going to say it would be well. better if it was On the paper, the white, think so? white background. All right, we'll give it a try. There yeah, you go. You can go. see it much better. Look at that cute little keychain. That's adorable. That's because it's from Pamela's Adoring Crochet. <laughs> And it's got the name Pamela up there, and it's got a Doreen crochet on the bottom. This is really nice. I should have some stickers made or something made, but it would have to be a chicken probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, talk about chickens. I have a little video to put in for you. Uh, Mark, I'm sorry. This one doesn't have a lot of talking, but I did have a request for somebody to see Mr. Brown follow me. So you're going to see Mr. Brown, and you're going to see him dust bathe, and you're going to see me feed the chickens, and you're going to see... Is that it? I think, I think so. so. I think that's it. Oh, you might see the bearded lady, too. She's very quiet, very quiet. But she's so dark, and it's kind of hard to see her, but you will still see her. And we'll go to that, okay? What, you're trying to you following me this time? Oh, no. oh, it's because you're out here. Maybe go up on the porch for a minute. No. <laughs> Come here. You can follow those shoes another day. I need you to follow my shoes. Sometimes he doesn't want to. Are you ready for a dust bath? Huh? Huh, pretty boy? Take you over there. Says, where am I going? I'm going over here in the shade. Mr. Brown is dust bathing 
and cleaning his wings. But notice how much hair, I mean not hair, <laughs> I know it. How many feathers he's gotten? He's gotten a lot more feathers. He says, oh, this is so good. This is what I've been waiting for all day. It's amazing how they can put their heads so far back. They can go all the way to their butt. <laughs> it's crazy, but they can. You've, you've done very good, little boy. Oh, you found a nail. Hmm. Thank you. He pulled it up. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's still a few in here from Probably the from siding. Did the siding. It looks like yep. a siding nail. Yep. The siding or the flashing around the windows. Mr. Brown, are you ready to go home? Are you ready? Come on up. Come on up. No? You said, not yet. <laughs> I want to dust some more. All right. You've been out here a long time. I like my freedom out here. I know it. It's good for his nails to do that scratching too. Mm -hmm. I'll let you scratch a little more. Okay, Mr. Brown, you've had a long time. Time to go in. Come on, up, 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 up. Off the dust. Now that you're all dirty. He says I'm all clean. I'm not dirty. What are you talking about? Okay, let's go in. Okay, Mr. Brown, in you go. In. Come on, in. There you go. Good boy. Alrighty. And how are you doing, sweet lady? Oh, you poor thing. You poor baby. Yeah. You poor little girl. She's so soft. You're so soft. You have a tuff on your head and beard on your face. See the beard? Mm -hmm. And a tuff on her head. Yeah, you're part Polish. Uh-huh. If you want to know your nationality. <laughs> okay. All right, Jake, we got to go in the other room. Come on. Well, did you see Mr. Brown trying to follow Mr. Jim's shoes instead of my shoes? That silly little bird. <laughs> and he typically, when I put him down, as soon as I put him down, he's following me. But today, he was a little confused. He thought those shoes looked like more fun to follow. They were staying in the shade where I was going out in the sunshine, and he really didn't like the sun today. It was pretty warm, and that's why he wanted to take a dust bath. And he must have dust bathed for a good, I don't know, half an hour to 45 hour. minutes? Yeah, at least. It was a long time. You're not going to get that full of a dust bath. I went for a walk, and Mr. Jim babysat Mr. Brown <laughs> so I could walk. I'm trying to get my steps in. I'm still like oh, almost a 1,000 steps away, not quite. I've been getting my 5,000 steps every day. I've been working at it. Some nights I, he goes to bed and I says, well, I'm, 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 I, gotta, I gotta do some figure eights in the, in the daycare. So I come up here and I walk my figure eight. And the reason I walk figure eights, if you go in a circle, you get dizzy. Whereas a figure eight is kind of where you kind of change your, and then you go the other direction around. So you're making, you do, so that you don't get dizzy. And that's how I get the rest of the steps in at night, a lot of times, because I haven't been walking the halls. It's been too many steps, so I do them down here. Well, that is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know what I'll call it. You'll know when you see it. So we'll talk to you later. You take care. Bye-bye. 
I forgot to read the card. So I'm going to read the card now. And it said, you rock on the front. And it says, Nona Grace, I just wanted to send you this card to let you know how much I enjoy your channel and that I appreciate the friendship we have built. And it was from Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Thank you so much, Pamela. I forgot to read that card when I when I showing your your um, keychain and your sticker. They're adorable. Now, what was I saying after that? Because the camera went off. <laughs> oh, she. Oh, she and she and Marna were the ones that got me crocheting again. I used to crochet all the time, and then I kind of got away from it. But Marna did that Lego block. Um, Afghan and I want I loved the look of it and so I made it and then Pamela made a shawl and then um, Karina Anna made a capelet and a bag and now she's making the doll which I've got another doll almost done I'm putting the arms on her you wanna oh I'll get it I gotta get it he's holding the camera so if it wiggles it's because of me he's holding He's holding the camera, so I have to get it myself. But here's the other one that I'm doing. I've got the other one is. Oh, did I show that? I'll get it. Oh my stars! This video is going to be longer than long. Okay. There. <laughs> There's two of them. This one has no arms yet. I'm making them, and then this one has the. It's got its. Here it goes this way. I guess it's got its all body there it just needs its hair and face and clothes and she's she I made her legs with this a little bit longer I wanted to on this one and I didn't I forgot and cut it so then I did it the same it's a row shorter than I wanted to be and then this one I did put the pointy shoes on but this one I didn't because I decided eh, it was too much trouble for me so I didn't and so I just I have to make the arms and so that's what I'm doing so that's, now I am can say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. I'm back. <laughs> this is so bad. I forgot to tell you, I finished my headband and I made it too long. I don't know if I told you in this one or if the one that clicked off. So It was the one that clicked off. So now I'm telling you again, I did make the, I did do the headband. She and had it and tied it. Pretty bow I had earlier. a bow on top, and then it was another song, and you don't want to hear that song today. We'll <laughs> sing that song another day. Uh, but that's it. Okay, now, bye-bye. <laughs>